What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube goers, with another awesome video, and I'm doing the figure of Predator's Perserka from Hot Toys Movie Masterpiece. I was supposed to do this video last night, but I got kind of tired, and I was so busy yesterday and today, and um, this figure I actually liked, and like I said on the updates for the Joker, Hulk, Bang, Black Widow and Thor, they're supposed to be coming out, I believe, like I said, Black Widow, Thor, and Bang are supposed to be coming out this March. Those are the main figures that are coming out. Batman, I mean Batman, excuse me, Joker and Hulk, and I believe Iron Man got pushed to May and April. So, but anyways, continue with the video. This is Prezoka the Predator movie, Masterpiece, Hot Toys, Collectibles. And it's a badass figure, hands down. And um, we got the package of him right here on the front. And then we got the side that says his name. And then we got a little nice back picture of him. Predator or Prey. And then, like always, got the choking hazard. Very nice detail. They've been doing a lot of nice details for these boxes, and you know, I'm pretty impressed. So, moving on, you see Prezarka, the Predator, with his case. Then when you lift it up, you got the nice little picture of the little red light. Very nice figure. Very well done. Now, let me show you my Predator. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Perserka, the leader and the badass of the Predators. Um, let me start off with the figure. The figure is a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know why Hot Toys can just include the batteries that's inside inside the figure already. Instead, you put it in inside. I had a problem with that. I was putting it in there for two hours and a half trying to figure out one minute or like the helmet and one minute it doesn't guys if you have one please let me know how do I put the battery in right because I've been putting it in right the battery is not working on the helmet I don't know if it's the helmet or the figure but please if you guys know please leave comments and let me know and the back when you screw it in it doesn't screw all the way in it doesn't want to stay in Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. I think it's just the, the battery or the way they made the stupid toy. But anyways, and then otherwise, the figure is very good. Um, the helmet of the bones, very badass. It comes with four changeable hands, three knives, one helmet. And it comes with his mouth changing and comes with this very awesome skull in his hand. The blade itself... It's very, it's not that very sharp, but it's made out of real metal. That's what I like about that. And the paint detail of Barack, Barack the Predator, very nice detail. This is how I'm gonna put him in his stance. His eyes are wow. His mouth. I mean, some people pull some with his mask or without his mask. I'm gonna put him some with this position pose. Very nice figure. The only bad part about this figure is like his legs are so stiff and it's like it's hard to move them and I'm afraid to break them because you know how these figures are. Once you break them or something happens to them, you lose 100 bucks on the value of the figure and who sucks. And this I like right here, the skull that he's holding in his hand. Very well detailed. It looks like fatality. For Mortal Kombat, like he rips something out of the guy's body, and then he, that's like his trophy prize and the kills he got. This is a very nice detail of the skull of the human's body. And on the other hand, let me show you guys the problem I was having. Let's hope this bad boy doesn't fall. So I'm showing you guys the figure. It's a 1-6 scale Predator. His dreadlocks are very nice. In the movie, they look like 
there were red, but it kind of looks like they're orange the way they paint it and the way they did it. So, and his dreadlocks, they're really sticky. They're not, you know, like hard plastic. They're actually kind of sticky, but that's okay. And um, like I said, right here, guys, this is where I was having the problem. I don't know, one minute it turns on the helmet of the little light and then it doesn't and then it does. And then it's hard to take, put it back on and keep the thing screwed in. The screw is too small and the top is too freaking weak to hold the battery. But it stays in place when you try to, um, when you put them in different poses or positions. I try to shake it out but it doesn't fall out so as long as it stays in it's good. And we got the back, very nice detailed. Uh, but like I said, the figure is just, wow. It's like, I give it a 10 out of 10, even if this figure was pain in the ass. And then, we got his blaster gun. His blaster gun, you could move it and you could adjust it. Very nice figure too. Any Predator fans out there? I recommend this to you guys. This is not a figure you will not regret buying. Very nice detail to the gun. And a very nice detail on the whole figure. So, YouTube goers, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this figure. And he comes with his little predator stand. And it has his name, Barocco Predator. And leave comments, leave likes. Let me know what you think of this figure. You think it's okay? You think it's worth it? And like I said, guys, if you know how to put the battery in right, please let me know. And Sarnara, and I'm out.